Hey guys, what's up? Carolyn here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an Ultimate Team and today I'm going to be doing an 87 rated Winter Wildcard Rafinha review. So, he's 5 foot 9 tall, high high work rates, 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot, left footed primarily with the explosive acceleration type. I picked him up for just over 400,000 coins now. Obviously, the main talking point of the card is the Trickster Plus playstyle, which coupled with the 5 star skills is going to be absolutely ridiculous, which is why he is so expensive. I went with the finisher camp style. He's going to have 94 attack positioning, 93 finishing, 90 shot power, 83 volleys, and 85 penalties, along with maxed out agility, 87 balance, and maxed out dribbling as well. So, having those dribbling stats along with the Trickster Plus playstyle and 5 star skills, I'm expecting this guy to be absolutely crazy. When it comes down to the playstyles on the card, he has got Power Shot, Rapid, Flare, Trickster Plus as I said, Quick Step and Relentless as well. So I'm going to try this card out at Right Forward, Cam and Striker in a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow and 4 3 2 one So without further ado, let's jump straight into the gameplay highlights with Winter Wildcard, Rafinha and straight off the bat here, great dribbling, gets onto that left foot goes to the Trevella and finds the back of the net and just like that, 10 minutes into his debut, we have the first goal with him. By the way, I'm going to keep this video pretty short and try a new style of reviews, just try get it short and straight to the point and hopefully that way you guys end up enjoying more gameplay highlights and well a lot quicker as well. Here he gets the first assist, just drops into the pocket of space, puts the cross in to Ramirez as you guys can see and then we do end up scoring and this guy does end up quitting. Heading on to the next match, Mondrić gets it into Kenny Dalglish who gets it into Rafinha, takes the touch through the gap and keeps the ball beautifully, does very well to keep it close to his feet, scores and the swoo celebration to go with it. Heading on to the third game of this video, Ramirez dinks it into Modric. Modric finds Rafinha who is out wide. I see Dalglish in the box. Can he make that cross? That cross is absolutely Ridiculous, great ball in from Rafinha, another assist and we do get another goal with Dog Leash. Heading on to the next clip, the dribbling here, sensational. This guy moves ridiculously fast with the ball, defenders get caught up with each other, we get a penalty, Rafinha wins it so he gets the pleasure of taking it and he does end up converting it as well. Moving on then to the next match, a free kick with Rafinha, can he convert this one? This guy's got a rid bullet. On the line but who cares honestly who cares it doesn't matter Rafinha scores anyway outside of the foot free kick and well he smashes it beyond root bullets and the goalkeeper and into the back of the net here Montrich has it I see Rafinha making that run ahead of Kenny Dalglish get that pass into Rafinha take the touch through the gap just to accelerate a little bit and he then converts at the end of it pretty similar to an earlier goal that we scored in this video but regardless a good goal nonetheless here Modric finds Dalglish, Dalglish finds Rafinha and this dribbling is absolutely crazy does very well keeps it very close to his body great skill and he scores again at the end of it here again displaying the dribbling on the card great bit of skill there keeps the ball close to him again Ruth Hullet fouls him go down in the box get a penalty Hullet gets a yellow and Rafinha is going to get the pleasure of taking this penalty once more this time I'm just going to go for the chip shot down the middle, Panenka, and well, we get another goal from the spot was the Brazilian. Now, I did say the reviews are going to be a lot quicker and faster, and well, this is exactly what I mean. Pretty much less than four minutes into this video, and the highlights are done, and now I can focus on reviewing the actual card. So, as you guys can see, in eight games, he has scored seven goals and managed two assists, which is honestly not too bad at all considering we were playing in weekend league is more goal contributions than games played so we will take that it's not the usual insane goal contributions like 15 in five games for example as we normally get but i was more focused on just trying to win the games rather than playing around with the player i am reviewing but anyway moving on to the attribute details on the card the pace is phenomenal it feels very quick on and off the ball can run away from defenders pretty easily and having max out agility and 87 balance does help with that as well. So when it comes down to the pace, I'm going to go ahead and give him a 9.3 out of 10. Shooting with the finisher Kim Sal is pretty good. Getting a plus 12 to the finishing is very important, especially if you are playing him at the right forward or striker position, which is where I recommend you play him in the right forward position. But I will touch more on that after I've gone through the attribute detail. Shooting, however, I'm going to go ahead and give him an 8.4 out of 10. It's not the best, but inside the box he will convert and the plus 4 to the shot power does make a pretty big difference too. And while he can also score free kicks, which is 
obviously a big plus on the card. Passing, honestly, not great, but it is not horrible either. He can make pretty much the simple passes, the short passes, and the crossing for some reason on this card is absolutely spectacular. So passing gets an 8.2 out of 10. Dribbling, by far the best part of the card. It is so good. He is so fun to use. And that is why you pay the money for this card. Because tricks the plus, 5 star skills, those dribbling stats. Like I said, is the reason why you pay for this card. So dribbling does get a 9.3 out of 10. That is taking into account the skill moves and the tricks the plus playstyle. Which I have been raving about since the start of the video. Honestly, it makes a big Big difference players like Neymar and St. Maximin have it as well. So honestly, this Rafinha card getting the Trickster Plus playstyle is absolutely cracked. And he feels absolutely cracked as well. When it comes down to the physical, he lasts a full 90 minutes. He is pretty evasive, can get away from players. If he goes shoulder to shoulder, he will most likely get pushed off it. But that's only against the bigger type of centre-backs. With that being said, is this card worth the coins? Where do you play him? And what is the best Kemsal, I would say finisher is the way to go in that right forward position. And is he worth the coins? Yes, 100%. He is around 370k according to Footpin right now. And yeah, like I said, in my opinion, he is definitely, definitely worth the coins because he is a very, very fun player. So with that being said, I do bring an end to the video. If you like the new shorter style of reviews, let me know down below in the comment section. But until then, guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.